So, exams are cancelled. Yay, finally. Fairness has been... Oh, no, hang on a second. It hasn't. Fairness hasn't been restored because the government have come up with something even worse that is even less fair than possible where your teachers are going to be marking exams but they're not called exams anymore they're called externally set assessments taking money and jobs away from very experienced people and making your poor stressed teachers do the work for free and these not exam exams you're going to be allowed to sit whenever you like potentially at home meaning the possibility for cheating in the exam and for people coming out of the exam paper writing it down and selling a version of the paper on social media is basically going to be impossible for them to stop and control so yes the government has stopped exams and made it into something even more unfair than getting you to sit exams how did they screw this up So exams have been cancelled as I'm sure you already know but what you might not know is that they are about to be replaced with something that in my opinion is worse than exams would have been. More unfair unbelievably than exams would have been and you guys still get to have your say on this. So good old Gavin has been winding up teachers no end for months how he is still in a job is quite unbelievable but what he's instructed off call to do and I know this says ask but when a government official asks you to do something it's kind of an instruction he wants off call to look into providing externally set tasks or papers in order that teachers can draw on this assessment to support their assessment of students so basically he wants the exam boards to give teachers externally set assessments papers um so they can give you these and then mark them and assess you on them now this isn't for everything for kind of like art there's not going to be an exam paper or anything there's going to be a task to do um but i'm going to explain to you why this is even worse than exams so as i'm sure you know of course i've launched a consultation and you've still got another week to respond to this i'm going to go a few of the things that it hints about and explain to you why these would be really really bad things now the way these questions are worded kind of suggests that they've already made their mind up about some stuff so the more people that either strongly agree or strongly disagree may sway them a little bit to what extent do you agree or disagree that the exam boards should provide a set of papers to support teachers in assessing their students? So this is basically saying exam boards have to provide papers for you to sit. Now, papers take a ridiculously long time to write and check and ensure they're fair and they've got the right spread of this, this, this. Um, and they're asking the exam boards to provide a set a different set to the exams that have already been written in a few months time these are not going to be as good as the exams would have done and they're asking you to sit these papers which have not had the time it takes about 18 months two years to write an exam paper that's not had the time to go through that checking process do you think the papers provided by the exam board should be compulsory well if they're not compulsory why would anyone bother doing them in the first place and if they are compulsory then they're exams what is the point if they're not compulsory and some schools look at them and think oh that's a bit hard for my students they're not going to do them should teachers using the example paper get the choice of topics well in this circumstance, you're going to get some teachers who do it fairly and will pick a range of topics and some teachers are just going to pick a topic that they know their students are going to do really, really well on and they're going to pick the easy topic, then they're just going to focus on teaching and writing that topic. Now, I know the point of this question is to allow people that have missed large chunks of school to not do topic seven or whatever it was, but some schools, some teachers are just going to pick the easy topic for their students to do and it's going to be really unfair for the other schools and the teachers who have done it fairly. And then do you think the teachers should be marking these papers? Now this is my big, big 
issue with this for a massive wide range of reasons partly because um you, the school pays the exam board for setting papers and assessing your grades and marking them and the exam board pays people to mark it now your school has already paid the exam board for giving you a grade but the exam board hasn't yet paid the markers for marking the papers because they haven't done the marking yet well where's that extra money going to go doubt it's going to go back to the school marking exam papers is somebody's job and getting the teachers to do somebody else's job for free you are literally taking someone's job and forcing someone else to do it for free it's like you know saying that we should all volunteer at tesco so that tesco don't have to bother employing people it's it's something similar to that um you know, this is literally taking away people's jobs at a time when people really need their jobs. And these are highly skilled jobs. People get trained for ages and ages to mark exam papers. And when they mark them, they see a lot of exam papers. So the people that mark exam papers for a living are hugely experienced. And they're asking your teachers to do it for free with no training. And this is really, really bad thing. Because if you're marking 30 papers, you're going to see 30 different things. And if one slightly odd thing comes up, they'll be kind of like, is it worth mark? Is it not worth mark? They can obviously call into, I assume, a helpline to ask, because that's a normal thing to have. But they might not. They might just make their decision and mark it wrong. Whereas if you're marking 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 papers, it's going to crop up a lot. And that person will use their experience of having seen it a lot to judge whether it's the correct answer or not. Whereas if you're only marking 30, 60, 90 papers, you're not going to have that experience. But professional markers also have a massive team backing them up. There are senior markers and people leading that team who then go to for advice to say, oh, the students put this, I think they meant this, can I give them a mark? Teachers are not going to have that support and that backup. So they will not be marked as well as if they are done by a professional. Now, the other thing I have an issue with about teachers marking these assessments is teacher bias. It is a thing. It does exist. Um, when um, you're marking a paper and it's a student that you know really, really well, if they answer, you know, where are protons, blah, 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 in the outer shells, and you're like, oh, I know they know the answer, I'm going to give them the mark, because I know they know the answer, even though they wrote the wrong thing down. Well, the examiners are not going to be biased like this. Teachers are going to have favourite students and least favourite students and if your handwriting is appalling but you're a favourite student they're probably going to put a little bit more time and effort probably completely unconsciously into working out what you've written on that bit of paper um teacher bias is a thing it does exist this is why when your papers get sent off to the um examiners to be marked they are blind marked they do not get to know your name your race your sex anything about you so that any bias they have towards any particular group isn't exposed in the marking of the papers well getting your teachers to mark your papers there is going to be bias that is a thing unconscious bias exists even the best best person in the world has some kind of unconscious bias and then we get to the time period that these assessments should be taken in now with the exams everyone sits them at the same time you know whether it's a nine or a 9 30 start or a 10 o'clock start nobody's going to finish the exam before somebody else starts the exam that is not going to be the case with these papers and i will guarantee tea to you no matter how much the websites or the exam boards or whoever tries to stop it somebody will be straight on social media telling other people what was in that exam paper people will be selling versions of the exam paper they will come out and they will write down the questions and then they will sell it on whatever social media platform they have this is going to happen you will be able to buy these external assessments before you sat them. Unless your school sits every single one on the first day it is released, there will be students who have seen the paper before they go in and sit it. 
that is completely impossible to stop unless you have every single person sitting them on exactly the same day at exactly the same time. Now, we know we're in the middle of a pandemic and kind of hopefully it'll be over by June, but it might not be. So we are assuming you'll sit these assessments in school, but you might not be sitting these assessments in school, you might be sitting them at home. Now, with the best will in the world, if you are sitting an assessment at home, it is basically impossible <laughs> to ensure that nobody cheats. Now, I'm homeschooling my darling, darling children. <laughs> Sometimes when their teacher asks them a question in an online lesson, I can see from the look of panic on their face, they do not know the answer. So I write down the answer and I hold it up and he reads it out to his teacher and she goes, oh, well done. It is basically going to be impossible to stop cheating if you allow students to do these assessments at home. Now I know not everyone will cheat. Some of you are amazing and beautiful, honest people. But the temptation will be there to have, you know, even if you're doing an on-camera assessment, you can have all of your notes stuck up above the camera, or you can have them laid out next to you on your desk, or your older brother or your sister or your parent can be sitting just off camera, looking at the assessments and writing the answers down and holding them up for you like I do in my son's lesson. I really hope his teacher's not watching, as I would like to point out it's only primary, he's not being assessed on anything. And I'm also not really good at what a proper noun is. It's really embarrassing if his teacher watches this. It's a whole lesson on pronouns, proper nouns and nouns. And I really don't care. Anyway, enough about the trauma in my life at the moment. Right, it is going to be really hard to prevent cheating in this if you allow students to sit any of these assessments at home if they are not sat in school under exam conditions. So that is how the government has made things worse. If you would like to have your say on this, then the consultation is still open until next week. Um, my really, really, the things that I have really big issues with are getting teachers to mark them for free, um, taking jobs away from people, um, taking jobs away from experienced people who do it a lot and making inexperienced people do it for free. Not that your teachers are inexperienced and can't be trusted, but they aren't professional exam markers. Um, and my other big issue is letting people sit it whenever they want to, um, bring up cheating. So that's it. Go and respond to the consultation so that your voice is heard because your voice is valid and your voice is important.